Well, hello, and welcome to our first episode of On Deck with Avoya, your weekly travel update. Here it is, 2023, a brand new year filled with brand new promises and brand new opportunities, which makes it a very exciting time for all of us in the travel industry. I'm your host, Chris Green, Director of Network Expansion, and thank you so much for joining us today for this special episode. We start the new year off with the same goals as always, to put on a program that helps you understand a little bit more about the travel industry and specifically the best in class resources offered by Avoya Travel to those in the Avoya network. It's our chance to share with you why Avoya Travel is so special and different than any other host agency or franchise model in leisure travel. A program that we hope piques your interest, makes you want to explore this opportunity in greater detail because we can't wait to engage with you and tell our amazing story. We start the new year off with an amazing guest, too. Steve Hershan, Vice President of Sales for Avoya Travel, returns to the hot seat for an Avoya Insider segment. We look back at the year that was 2022, but more importantly, we're going to look forward and discuss all the possibilities that 2023 presents. We're both excited and honored to have Steve return for his Avoya Insider segment, and we look forward to that exclusive Q&A happening here in just a few minutes. We also have the return of our industry insights with our eye on the industry segment. Today, we discuss Southwest Airlines. They're trying to say, I'm sorry, we screwed up. Yeah, they had that major meltdown during the holidays. I was personally impacted too. Plus a story on American Cruise Lines upgrading the internet and a follow-up story on the proposed VAT tax in Germany that was supposed to take place in 2023. All of that coming up here in just a minute at On Deck with Avoya. We also have a great new promotion for our high-end experienced travel professionals that could allow you to join the Avoya Network for a zero fee. That's right, zero. So make sure you stay tuned to the end of our program today to find out all of those details. We'll also have our promotion active for our military friends and their spouses. We'll touch on that and highlight some of the top resources available to those in our network, which help them be the highest selling and highest commission generating affiliate base in leisure travel. And of course, we'll wrap up today's shows with all the ways that you can reach out and start that conversation. Sounds like a busy show. So let's jump right in. Some industry insights and our eye on the industry feature. And this one that we start off with impacted me personally as I was uh, in New Orleans for the Christmas holiday. Southwest Airlines canceled my flight. They didn't offer anything to book for days and days. And my wife and I had to rent a car and drive the 600 miles plus home from New Orleans uh, back to the Florida Gulf Coast. That's versus the one and a half hour flight that we had already booked. So, um, wow, Southwest Airlines, the great meltdown of 2022. In a story source from Travel Weekly, it was announced that Southwest Airlines is giving impacted travelers a bonus of 25,000 frequent flyer mon- uh, miles in addition to the reimbursement due for delayed travel expenses. The points, according to CEO Bob Jordan, uh, in emails received by customers equate to a base fare redemption value of more than $300. Southwest is providing the rapid rewards credits to customers who were impacted on flights between December 24th and January 2nd, but whose flights were either canceled or delayed by more than three hours. Now, it's important to point out that this gesture is in addition to customers' reimbursements and refunds on flights and an incidental Uh, expenses related to their recent disruption of travel, the airline went on to say in a statement. Southwest canceled a staggering 13,700 flights over that period. It was 35.6% of its schedule, according to FlightAware. On on a personal note, not sure 25,000 miles is enough to keep my loyalty, but I will say it's at least a start in the right direction. Also in a story we sourced from Travel Weekly, American Cruise Lines has upgraded its 2023 fleet of river and ocean ships with new high-speed Wi-Fi. Starlink satellite service is now available on all 17 of the cruise line ships sailing in 2023, providing a faster and more stable internet connection where the ships sail. Wi-Fi remains complimentary for all guests. Starlink satellite is the company founded by Elon Musk and operated by SpaceX. It was announced back in September that Royal Caribbean Group will be adding Starlink to all its ships for both Royal Caribbean and the Celebrity brand. And finally, following up on a story we reported a few months back, the VAT tax for visitors to Germany that reside outside of the European Union has been postponed for at least a year. 
Berlin's value-added tax on German vacations sold outside of the EU, uh, EU did not go into effect on, as expected on January 1st, a victory for tour operators and travel agencies. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, time for our first Q&A segment for 2023. And we start off with a great one. Steve Hershan, Senior Vice President of Sales for Avoya Travel, longtime travel professional. He started off as an agency owner in the Avoya Network many years ago. And since transitioning to the employee side has made a steady rise to his current position at the highest levels of senior management for Avoya Travel, Steve brings decades of knowledge and expertise to his current role, and we're excited to pick his brain about the future of travel and what it takes to operate a highly successful travel business. So welcome in our Avoya Insider this week, Steve Hershian, Senior Vice President of Sales for Avoya Travel. Steve, so great to have you back on the show as a guest for On Deck with Avoya. I'm happy to be back, Chris, but you guys don't want to let me turn the video on. I don't see any video from that. Okay, we're going to be good in a second. Perfect. Uh, I'm, I'm, with, I'm with you, Chris. I'm thinking, how many of these Southwest mileages are we going to see on, uh, on eBay pretty soon? I think it's going to be quite a few, Steve. Yeah, I mean, I think that was a big goof on their part. Um, and I think it's got to scare a lot of companies that know that they been passing up their opportunity to invest in their infrastructure and hoping that they don't have a meltdown themselves moving forward. Yep, I hear you. Um, Steve, we had you on the show several times and we've covered your extensive background in travel, so no need to go into that again. But as someone that's on the company's senior leadership team, take a look back for me and kind of size up 2022 as both a company and an industry. Sure, happy to, Chris. I would I would call 2022 the year of recovery. Uh, we went from having a record sales year in 2019, being just under a half a billion dollars, and of course everybody knows what happened in 20 and 21. Uh, basically, for the cruise line, versus is they gave them future cruise tickets that people will use because they're you know, as opposed to points that people may or may not use because they can't count. Uh, so those two years were, I would say, building up to a recovery. We spent a lot of time in the past in the back office operations, in our staffing, and to be able to do things much better than the business could do. The business started to come back in 2022. Happy to say that we almost got back to 2019 levels, and very close to that. So we're kind of poised to make that leap that we expected to make in 2020, which is a great year in 2019, but of course, was cut short by COVID. Yeah, for sure. And Steve, we're just having a few little internet uh, audio issues. To those watching, we do apologize. Steve's not in his normal office. We're doing the best we can, but it's just great to be able to have him on the program and certainly uh, appreciate him making the big effort. Steve, literally, this one's for you since of where you are, but what about looking out the windshield? How is the early part of 2023 shaping up? Yeah, it's, you know, if the first couple of days are any indication, we are we are more than back to 2019 success levels. Uh, leads have been coming in at, at record levels for the past four or five days. You know, I remember, like you say, Chris, I've been in the business a long time. I remember wave season used to start maybe the first or second week of January. It's now starting like the day after Christmas. Uh, yesterday was the, the biggest lead day we've had. When I say leads, I mean we're driving new consumers to our, our agency network. And yesterday was the biggest day of leads being transferred out to them since early 2020. So almost three years. Yeah, quite the comeback for sure. And as a follow-up to that, Steve, what kind of things overall are you expecting from the travel industry for this year? So some good things, uh, you know, people call it different things. People call it revenge travel. People call it making up for lost time. But what we're certainly seeing is that the average spend per booking is up significantly. People are spending the two or three years worth of travel money they had saved up all onto one trip. Um, studies have shown that people are more interested now in spending money on experiences versus spending money on possessions. Something they probably should have thought of years ago because 
perceptions kind of come and go, but experiences and memories, you know, are going to last a lifetime. So people's mindsets, consumers' mindsets, I think have certainly changed over the last couple of years and in a positive way for people selling furniture. Yeah, I certainly concur. You know, at the end of 2022, Steve, Avoya Travel launched the new travel agent education powered by Avoya. As someone that's been involved in travel sales for many years, seen so many successful agencies be become launched, how vital is it having that strong education foundation when starting a new travel business? Well, I, I, think, I think the key word you use there in the question, Chris, is foundation. I think, I think people forget that there are certain basics that you need to know when you're going into a new business, into a new industry, and, and being able to provide them for those who are basically new to travel, to give them that strong foundation, as you as you said, to be able to start their business in the best possible way for them to succeed. You know, it, it's, you know, when you when you look at sports and football, it's about blocking and tackling. It's always it always comes down to who does the basics the best. And I think our new education platform in partnership with Travel Institute and CLIA and ASTA is gonna put people who are new to travel or even we're even finding a lot of experienced agents saying, I think I need to go back to the drawing board a little bit and, and freshen up on my on the basics of the industry. So I think it's gonna be helpful to all. And I think it's gonna get people way more prepared to help clients and, and make more bookings than we've ever been able to position them before. And I think, and especially if somebody wanted to talk to somebody on my team, they'd be happy to kind of break this down. But if you're a smart customer with those bonus commissions that you get from being a member of CLIA, you really can make this a zero net out of pocket when it's all said and done kind of an operation to launch your new business. And I can't think of any other business that really offers true success that you'd be able to do that in. So I think that program is just a smart, smart way for somebody to get the head start that they really want. Yeah, that's a great thing about the travel business or, or certainly in partnership with Avoya is that there's nowhere else where you can start a business like Chris, you and I did years ago uh, for a very small investment to get started and have customers calling you the first day you're in business without spending any money to market. So it's a, it's a unique kind of business because we're not buying inventory. The suppliers take care of that. Uh, we don't need much in the way of an office. We just need good internet, a good PC to work with, uh, and and with it for a few hundred dollars or a thousand dollars, you could be up and running in business and having customers sent to you in a very short period of time. You know, another major move that Avoya Travel made in 2022 was joining Travel Leaders Group as our consortia. The last time you were on the program, it was as we were explaining that American Express was sunsetting that program. And then, of course, you were very involved in, in, in helping make a decision and, and pointing the company in, in, towards future success. Steve, can you take me behind the scenes a little bit, if you can, to what was vital for Avoya Travel as we made that decision? Because I can only imagine how important it must have been coming off that 30-year-plus relationship with American Express. Sure. Happy to, Chris. And, of course, yeah, we had a great relationship for years with American Express. But as, as big as their leisure travel business was, it's not their core business. Their, their, their core business, of course, is the credit card division and corporate travel. As, as, but as big as the leisure segment was, it was, to us, it was huge. To them, it was, it was a pittance, literally. So we were looking for somebody, number one, who travel was their core you know, major focus. And two, I think who offered the best benefits for our network? that could fill in the blanks that we had. One of them being, we never had the opportunity with American Express, believe it or not, to offer a, a good air program for our network. Uh, you know, we had a great group program, but uh, travel leaders, obviously with their bigger size and volume and volume power, uh, they can layer on so many more additional groups to ours that we're pretty much getting to the point of having a group rate on almost every sailing. And because of their size also, they were able to do uh, amenity groups that are guaranteed from booking number one, uh, bonus commissions that not offered to everybody. So I think I think benefit to the network was certainly uppermost on our, on our minds when we made this decision. 
Do you see, Steve, the association with travel leaders just being a natural way that the Avoya network will ultimately be able to sell more travel, not only in 2023, but as we move forward into the future? You know, Chris, I think you and I have, have joked at some point in time when we were selling, I would always say, when I had a better deal than everybody else, I was a great salesperson. Yeah. When I had the same deal as everybody else, I was a pretty good salesperson. If I had a worse deal than everybody else, I was a lousy salesperson. So I think with travel, with the travel leaders uh, group uh, relationship, we're going to have such pricing advantage over our competition that it makes it super easy to sell. Now, now I, I don't mean to say that the agent doesn't have to have product knowledge and provide great service to go along with it. But I think everybody on the call will agree that consumers expect both now. They expect the best possible price out there and the best possible service. And I think this new relationship is going to allow our network to do both on a very consistent basis. And as a side note, in three weeks, we're going to have a senior leadership member, Ashley Hunter, uh, also senior vice president with Avoya Travel, on as a special guest for On Deck with Avoya for an insider segment. And we're going to be doing a deep dive on some of the nuances of this new relationship between Avoya Travel and Travel Leaders Network. So we're excited about that. You know, Steve, when my team is discussing the best in class resources offered by Avoya Travel, we get asked a lot about what makes Avoya Travel different. So let me pose that question to you, sir. What, in your opinion, makes Avoya Travel unique and different to that of the other networks? Well, I think number one is what we talked about already, that that you and I were able to sit down our first days operating our business and have our phone ring right off the bat. You know, nobody else, nobody else can do that. That's number one. Number two, our our technology is is is, is so far advanced over anything else that's out there. Great thing about our proprietary system, Agent Power, is everything is resident in one system and it's all internet accessible. It's not a software, it's web-based, you can access it from anywhere. And you can do everything from email, to make a booking, to checking your commissions, uh, to sending confirmations, all resident in one system. You're not going back and forth from your CRM system to the vendor's booking engine, to an email system to send something, and somebody else to produce the confirmation. It's all in one system. So one of the advantages there too is with our technology, we could take all the different cruise lines, reservations, individual platforms that all look different, that all have their uniqueness, but we could take them all through Sabre, interpret them to all look the same to our users. So they only have to learn one system rather than MSP Online, Costa Click, Espresso, et cetera. Absolutely. I totally agree with that. Steve Hershad, Senior Vice President of Sales for Avoya Travel, is our featured Avoya Insider guest today for On Deck with Avoya. Steve, how about a few pieces of simple, just kind of easy to understand uh, advice that you might offer those new to selling leisure travel? Sure. So one of the things that we've preached for years, Chris, you know, is, is to be a specialist. You can't learn every product that's out there. Specialize in a few so that you can become so familiar with the product, the terms and conditions, the group policies, the deposit policies, that basically you can quote them off the top of your head. One of the nice things about the Avoya Lead Generation Program that we offer our network is you, you, don't, you don't have to specialize in 15 or 20 different things because then you wouldn't be a specialist. You can specialize in two or three or four different vendors. If you just want to specialize in celebrity and you can close them really well, I guarantee you, you will get enough celebrity leads to keep you busy and make the kind of money that you want to make. You know, coming out of COVID, we heard a lot about the importance of travel advisors in our industry. And that's great for that moment. But what does our industry need to do, Steve, to keep that status and remain vital to the process for people, at least in their minds, uh, who are going on vacation? Well, first thing I'll say is on the supplier side, I think they learned a costly lesson during COVID. And what I mean by that is, you know, they had their personal vacation planners, their inside sales teams that let's face it, are competing with travel agents. And that system worked well for them as long as their agents were selling, 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 selling. But as soon as COVID hit, and now they're paying salaries to people to just service bookings, it didn't work. So I think the vendors, number one, 
are, are much more understanding and appreciative of what agents went through and what they and what they and what they do. Uh, again, what what can the agent do for the consumer? Well, I think our agents proved that during the last two and a half years. They were available. They were sympathetic. They kept in touch with their clients. They kept them informed. Again, being an expert, being a specialist, being responsive. You know, I, it, it, this is a, you know, Chris, this is a 24 seven business. And you may not want to work 24 hours a day, but you might have to be available at off hours on weekends and clients are traveling and having issues. So I think, you know, working this into your lifestyle in such a way that you don't have to work 24 hours, but you have to be available at the right times when people are calling to make a deposit or calling with an issue. That's one advantage you're always going to have versus the direct team. You know, uh, one of our top affiliates, David Locke, and I think I'm paraphrasing what he said, but he said something like, listen, if I'm going to pause live television to go and get myself another drink from the kitchen, why wouldn't I pause live television and talk to one of my best clients and make some more money? He said, technology, what are you going to miss? You know, you don't, you're not missing anything. So one of the great things about being flexible and being in, involved in a flexible system is that you can't do those things and provide that amazing service with still somewhat minimal impact on you as an individual, I think. So I'm certainly not going to argue with David Locke. I mean, he, his agency, I think, hit uh, by the end of December, hit $10 million in sales. Wow. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> See, what... And it's basically two people, he and his wife. So it's not like it's a team of 20 people they're doing it. But they are so committed and so available and so expert about what they sell that uh, certainly they're an amazing team. Team, David and Cindy. And incredibly engaged with our business model. That's the other thing. We've had them on as guests. I've had a chance to, you know, as their friend to talk to them in various aspects of the business. They're very engaged with, with the business model and they think about it in a very smart way and they focus on the right number, not the split or the percentage or this or that. They focus on the number that goes into the bank account. And exactly. I guess that's a pretty good number to focus on, to be honest with you. Um, yeah. Steve, what about personal travel? Anything recent that you care to share? Anything on the near horizon that you're excited about? So I'll tell you, in, in the last two months, let's see, I've been on three trips. One, of course, was our annual conference on the Celebrity Beyond. Beautiful ship, beautiful product. I've said this many times. You know, we're in the industry, so we get nice deals. But if I had to pay my own money as a consumer, I think Celebrity would be at the top of my list there. Then I got uh, a weekend on the wonder of the seas. So now I'm now I moved up in scale. And then I had the honor to fly to uh, South America to Ushuaia to board Atlas Ocean Cruises ships uh, for their naming ceremony for a, a three day cruise. So completely different horizon, no pun intended, from the other two ships. You're talking about a ship that holds maybe 200 people doing some very niche kinds of products. Uh, and it just reminds me, there is something in this cruise industry for everyone. Some people are going to want the wow of Royal Caribbean. They have young families. They're gonna be certainly keep the kids entertained. Uh, the private island is amazing. And then there are others who say, you know, I've done everything. I wanna to go to Antarctica. I like being on the small ships. So it, it, just, it just shows you the depth of the industry and how far it's come over the years. You know, I've asked you this before, Steve, but it seems worth another ask. Do you think now is a good time for someone to get in the travel industry? I mean, as a small business owner? You know, it, it's funny because, Chris, you know, you and I babble and talk about the, about the Bitcoin and the stock market. And people say, well, sometimes when, when is the best time to get in the, into the market or into an industry is after it's kind of bottomed out. And I think the travel industry certainly had that bottoming out during COVID and is poised for tremendous growth in the next couple of years. There's so much pent up demand from people. There's so much pent up credit letters or uh, people going to want to use those Southwest points to go somewhere and spend money once they do that too, that you can book for them. Uh, so I think there's, there's never been a better time because the industry is, I think, going to outgrow the ability of the current agency base to handle it without new people coming into the industry. 
Steve, we really appreciate your time today. And, and before we let you go, any last thoughts on the state of travel for 2023 that you care to share before we uh, call it a wrap? Yeah, I think, I think, you know, Chris, you know, I've been in the travel business a long time and, and I'll just go back to, it's still all about relationships. And when I say that, what I mean is, yeah, I mean, every, every cruise line has a new ship coming out this year. Each new ship is as nice as the next. They're all basically doing the same itineraries, close to the same pricing, close to the same product on board. Who are you going to work best with is somebody that you develop a relationship with at the supplier that you know will be there when you have an issue or need help or need an advantage. Just like the consumer is looking to build a relationship with you to be have a comfort level to spend what for some of them may be a once in a lifetime kind of expenditure for a trip. It works both ways. You have to build a relationship with the consumer, but you also have to build a relationship with the suppliers as well. Makes a lot of sense to me. Steve Hershan, everyone, Senior Vice President of Sales for Avoya Travel. Steve, thank you as always for your time and that fantastic discussion. So we're not going to talk about tonight's Ranger Montreal Canadian game. Oh, well, we could, but it's <laughs> the way my team's playing lately probably well, should just pass. We'll talk tomorrow. <laughs> Sounds good. I look forward to it. Next week, we jump into the very exciting topic of business intelligence, analytics, and how crunching the numbers can help your numbers go through the roof when Matt Levy, Associate Vice President of Analytics for Avoya Travel, joins us for a Meet the Team segment. We can't wait to introduce you to Matt and explore his role in making the Avoya Travel Network just so strong. We've got a couple of exciting promotions that we're excited to share. I kind of teased this on the front end. This is brand new, just hot off the presses, as we would say. But for those that are new, uh, that would be joining Avoy Travel, that are experienced travel professionals and have sold last year at least $100,000 in gross sales and core products, right? Cruise and river cruise and tour and all-inclusive. And yes, we cover the full gamut. We are incredibly strong in cruise. We have amazing relationships on the land side as well, on the tour side. We are not a one-trick pony. We are one of the biggest in the industry. And we have all the bases covered from a family vacation travel. But if you sold over $100,000 in gross sales last year, my team would love to talk to you. And you could qualify for a zero affiliation fee. So reach out at avoyanetwork.com and you're going to see all sorts of marketing coming out on that on this brand new promotion that we're offering. And speaking of promotions, we still have our ongoing promotion for those in the military, our veterans discount. Uh, we're happy to provide that $100 off the original affiliation fee for those in the service who have served and for their spouses. Again, reach out to us through avoidnetwork.com. We're happy to go over all of the details with you. Um, Steve and I were discussing it in our Q&A. We also recently launched uh, right at the end of November our brand new travel agent education powered by Avoya. Self-paced lessons, the TAP test, the membership in CLIA and in ASTA, the bonus commissions. This is, if you're a business owner and you're new to the industry and you wanna get off the ground the right way, get your foot a couple of rungs higher on the ladder, this program is the best you're gonna find. Again, my team is more than happy to provide all the details to you. So reach out again at avoidnetwork.com. We'll get you connected with an affiliation specialist or a specialist on the travel agent education powered by Avoya, but it's legit. And we can't wait to see the new heights that our brand new, new to travel friends uh, accomplish in 2023 because of it. Resources, we've got them, right? Whether you're new to the industry, whether you're experienced, right? We have a lot of people that are new to the industry and we're a big help in helping them establish the best practices that it takes to be really, really successful. But we also have agencies that have been with us a long time, right? David and Cindy locked $10 million last year. Let that sink in for a second. And a great percentage of their business from Avoya Live Leads, they use us for marketing, for support, for back office. Again, we're happy to tell our story. So reach out to us. We just can't wait uh, to have that conversation with you. Don't forget to follow us on social media. If you're watching us on Facebook, please follow the page. If you're on YouTube, please subscribe, hit that bell, make the notification ring, all of those cool fancy words that happen in social media. It's our way to keep in touch with you and you'll never miss a beat. And how do you reach out? 
Well, avoyanetwork.com is still the best place to go. You can reach out to my email personally, chris.green at avoyantravel.com. Pick up the phone, give us a call. We're happy to get you connected with an affiliation specialist. You can find us on Facebook and YouTube and LinkedIn and all of those places. We want to hear from you. Tell our story, answer your questions, see if it's a good fit. I'm about to cough, so I apologize. That's it for this week. We'll be back with Matt Levy next Thursday, normal time, on deck with Avoya. Until then, take care, everyone. Thank you so much for your time.